So the first thing that you're going to do is take some water. It's this much water in here. Put some glue in there. You take a brush and you mix it all up. The glue is completely mixed in there. Now, we have three CD cases that you're going to use. So what you're going to do is open it up and see this side has nothing. This side has where the little CD would go. And you have tissue paper. These are all cut up. Um, there are also solid pieces of tissue paper, depending. For this one, I'm just going to start putting stuff down. So I'm gonna paint this on, start putting these down how I want them. Hands are gonna get nice and sticky. And then as you're going, you can put another coat of the glue on top too, to make sure it's staying down. And you see what it looks like when you put other pieces of tissue paper on top of tissue paper? Kind of mixes the colors together and does some really cool stuff. And when we shut it, da 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 da, looks kind of like this. So I'm gonna keep it open just to let it dry. Another idea that you can do is turn this into a stained glass window. I'm gonna do a flower right here. Just take a Sharpie. Maybe you have some of these flowers overlapping. Now what I can do is open it up and then put a coat of glue on there. And your options are you could rip this paper and stick it on there, or you could always cut the paper and put them on there. That is completely up to you. And don't worry about it being completely in the lines. It's okay if it's not. It would be really, really difficult sometimes if you want it to completely fit in the lines. And also, I think it looks pretty cool kind of going out of the lines a little bit. Do you see that? Yeah, it's neat, I like that. So I'm just gonna keep going with this and I'm gonna fill this all up. All right, so now that I have flowers on there, I think I'm gonna put a background on there now. So I'm gonna go in, I think I wanna put some grass on there. And I think I'm gonna put some white and some other colors behind that just to some of the grass areas, different colors. I think that would be fun. But you don't want it too thick that the light can't completely go through it. You wanna be able to see light through this because we are making sun catchers. And voila, look how pretty that is. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this one open as well and I'm gonna put it off to the side to dry. Another idea that you could do is put this down and you can make a design without really drawing on it yet. And since I like flowers so much, let's make another flower scene. I'm just gonna put a bunch of green on the back here. And now I'm putting the flowers on there. These are gonna be abstract flowers. An abstract means they don't look completely realistic, which is, in my opinion, something really cool that you can do with art. And now what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna take some of these beads. They're a little bit taller, so they should kind of stay in there. And they shouldn't fall. Oh, and there's a flower one, perfect. I'm just gonna place them. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut the case Oops, this one's way too tall. So we're gonna have to take that one off. These buttons should stay and they shouldn't move because it's kind of pushing on there. We have that and we have this one. And what I'm going to do with this one now, the very first one that we made, I'm going to write something on it. I'm gonna write a little message for when it's in the window and everybody that walks by can read it. I'm telling everybody to stay safe. Put a little heart there, gonna color in that heart. And if I had other Sharpie colors, I would use another Sharpie color for that. But I just have black, so I'm just gonna use black. Awesome. I'm gonna clean up my mess. And I'm going to put all of these together with some wire. So you got this wire. Oops, these are all tangled up, oh no. So I'm gonna untangle these pieces of wire. Ooh, got it. Okay, now we have this wire. And I am going to go hole through. And if I put, if you look right there, I put some tissue paper over that hole. It looks like it's fine. Didn't do anything. I just kind of had to push a little bit harder. And I'm gonna cut this. I'm going to put the wire through this one. So then I have this and I can kind of keep that open so I can hang it on my window and I could tie it. But before I tie it, I think I wanna take some beads and put some pretty beads on there. So I think I'm just gonna take this, gonna take this, 
And you can either tie it or you can just take the wire and twist it. Just like what you do with a bread twist. Cool, look at that, love it. And now I'm going to go, and you can do, you could have these all hanging separate or you can have them hanging together. And that's what I think I wanna do. I wanna have them all hanging together. So I'm gonna take some more wire and I think I wanna put some more beads on there too. And you can twist this. Tons of stuff that you can do with this wire. And actually what I'm gonna do right here, I'm very excited about this. I'm gonna take my marker, and I'm just going to wrap this around. <gasps> boing, 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 boing. Ha ha, you got some spirals in there. So excited for that. I think that's so fun. And the smaller the cylinder you use, the earlier it's going to be. I love that. Okay, now let's do this side. I'm gonna wrap this again. Awesome, now let's hang it on the window and see what it looks like. 